Hello, and today we are going to talk about the skincare steps that you can do when you have acne marks, acne scars, and hyperpigmentation. I've been dealing with those problems ever since I got diagnosed with hypothyroidism because I've encountered hormonal acne and yung mga acne na yun, ayun yung sobrang lalaki na walang mga mata na bigla na lang silang sasabog tapos may may iwan na lang kahit hindi mo sila also, I am so happy with the people who reach out to me in my IG and for those who want to talk with me, pinakamadalina yata in sa IG, I have a link below because I have previews on videos that talked about acne scars and also treating acne and it's a good thing and for those of you who guys have tried out my recommendations, they worked well for you. With that said, magbibigay akong disclaimer kasi of course our skin are different, what works for me might not work for you. But again, I'm just going to talk about specific steps that you can do to help in fading those problems. If you want to purchase some of the products that I'm going to feature in this video, I have links below. Don't forget to subscribe to be part of the Poop family and also hit the bell icon so you will not miss any of my acne scar related videos. Let's go! Before we talk about the steps that you can do to fade those acne scars, acne marks, and hyperpigmentation, kailangan siyempre alam niyo muna kung ano yung current problem niyo. So let us start with acne marks. Acne marks, ayan yung pinakamadali na tanggalin. Yung simple lang siya na kapag dry na yung pimple niyo and you have a bit of red and dark spot na meron somehow textured skin on top, that is an acne mark. Usually, nagkakaroon Karoon ka ng acne mark kapag kinukot-kot mo yung pimple mo. So, tip, huwag kot-kotin ang pimple. In terms of the damage of an acne mark, parang surface area lang siya. Compared to, next stop, which is hyperpigmentation. So, ang keyword dito ay pigmentation, which refers to the pigment your skin. So, syempre nga, nagkaroon ka ng acne mark, ba? Usually, hyperpigmentation is an aggravated effect of an acne mark. Ito yung tipong medyo malalim na yung pagka-dark niya, tapos parang yung darkness niya, parang nag-mix na siya with the uh, texture of your skin. Pero at the same time, wala na yung parang langib na matatanggal mo. Parang part na siya ng skin mo. I have a hyperpigmentation here. I don't know if you guys can see that, pero na-emphasize siya when I do contour. Kasi dito ako, dun sa mga previous videos that you saw, nagpakita ko ng before and after. And sobrang, ang dami kong hyperpigmentation here. Pero good thing, wala na sila ngayon. May natitirang konti, pero unti-unti na silang nag-fade. Anywho, nag-chika na ako. So, ayun yung acne marks and hyperpigmentation. So, for those two, ang problem mo is the discoloration of your skin. So, acne mark, parang ito pa lang yung level ng darkness, hyperpigmentation na ito. And usually, kapag hyperpigmentation, marami siya, parang kumpul-kumpul siya. Last one is acne scars. And ito yung ang pangit-pangit kasi acne scars, nagkakascar na, kaya nga acne scars, nagkakascar na yung skin mo. Yun na yung parang may uka-uka ka sa skin. So, when I encountered my hormonal acne, buti na lang hindi ako masyado nagkutkut -kut but with this side, oh my gosh, I was not able to wear bronzer, blushes, or whatever for a whole year because my acne scars sobrang grabe sa part na to. As in, parang uka-uka siya. Now, acne scars usually hindi naman siya nagtidevelop na, wow, nagka-pimple kang malaki and then you already have an acne scar once it heals. Ayan yung pimple na pa ulit, ulit, ulit na tiniris mo na and whatever, hindi pa rin siya mag-heal, tapos na-inflame siya. Ayan yung pimple, most probably you will get an acne scar. So, out of all the three, ang mabilis ma-fade is acne mark. And then, next one is hyperpigmentation. And yung medyo matagal that really takes time. Kasi nga, parang ganito yung skin mo. Tapos ngayon, may ganyan na siya yung acne scar. So, mahirap i-treat ang acne scar. It takes a lot of time. Well, actually, if you're just going to use topical treatments like what I'm going to discuss in this video, it takes time. Walang instant, talagang mga one year, 
two years for me para makarating ako na yung parang medyo confident na ako to put on blushers and bronzers. It took me three years. So with that, let us talk about the skincare step. Let's talk about the first step. And of course, it is cleansing. Siyempre, magtatanggal ka ng makeup mo, maglilinis ka ng face mo, and what have you. Now, I cannot stress enough how important it is to use a gentle cleanser. Now, this might come as a surprise because iisipin mo, meron ka ng spots and all, so gusto mo talaga yung malinis na malinis na mukha mo. Pero kasi, if you use a strong cleanser, an aggressive cleanser, it might aggravate your current skin condition. May problema ka na nga and all na dagdagan mo pa nang pwedeng makaburn ng face mo. Don't do that. And that is usually a big mistake na nakaka-irritate and na nakaka-inflame pa lalo ng mga current acne mo. So the cleanser that you should use should only have one specific purpose and that is to clean your face, remove your makeup. I have two product recommendations here. The first one is this one from Proactive and this is the Proactive Cleanse Renewing Cleanser. And then the other one is from the Bare Essentials line of Althea. And this one is the Contour Cleanser. Moving on to the next step, and this step is actually one of the two most important skincare steps that you can do to fade whatever your problem is, and it is exfoliation. Now, of course, we discussed that in kanina di ba yung acne scars and humors and hyperpigmentation, and ang kung ano ano na yung lalim ng dark pigment in our skin. Now, of course, nagto turn over naman yung layers of our skin, but we should help it do so. So, may dalawang klase. First one is physical exfoliation and the other one is chemical exfoliation. Physical exfoliation, ayan yung parang mga St. Ives apricot scrub. But if you are going to use a physical exfoliant, it's great that you can just use it maybe twice or once a week. You should not use it daily as it might damage the skin barrier. I haven't had much luck in terms of a physical exfoliant exfoliant na product. However, I do exfoliate my face using a brush. And nasa na ba siya? Ito siya. This one is from Miniso. I just use any cleanser for that night. And then I turn this on and the bristles are hard but soft enough to give proper exfoliation na talagang makikita mong nagme-melt away yung makeup and also parts of your skin na parang meron ng build-up dyan. Moving on to chemical exfoliation, the most commonly known types are AHA and BHA. So actually, ang daming products na nagkakontain ng AHA and BHA, pero kasi there is only one form na proven to be effective in exfoliating and creating acne scars, acne marks, and hyperpigmentation. And that is when you use AHA and BHA in toner form. Now, I'm not saying na mag-stop kayo to use um, soaps that claim to have AHA and BHA, they are still effective in some way. But if you really want to get 100% efficacy in terms of using that product, mas maganda kapag gagamitin mo siya in toner form. So let us discuss AHA. Ang hirap niyang sabihin, AHA. So AHA is alpha hydroxy acid. So ito yung glycolic acid, lactic acid, citric acid, medelic acid, and dami-daming acid kasi, well, exfoliant ka siya. And if you guys want to know kung ano yung difference ng mga acid na yan, let me know in the comments below so I can do a separate video kasi mahaba-habang usapan. Kapag gumamit ka ng AHA, AHA is water-soluble. So that means that it does not drain moisture. Instead, it adds moisture to your face and at the same time locks in the present moisture existing in your face. Which means na best to use ang AHA for those who have dry or damaged Skin. On the other hand, BHA, ayan, mabilis na sabihin, BHA or beta-hydroxy acid, ang well-known naman yan is salicylic acid. Kaibahan niya from AHA, nalilito na ako BHA, AHA, pero ang kaibahan niya with AHA is that it is 
oil soluble, meaning it can break down the present oil on your face para hindi na magclog, wala na masyadong maraming oil, which makes BHA great to be used for people who have oily and combination skin. I have three products to recommend and the first one is this one from Pixie and it is their Glow Tonic. This one has 5% glycolic acid. Now you heard glycolic acid. So meaning this one is AHA. Now I said before na AHA is great for dry skin. I have oily skin. Why am I using AHA? Now, itong problem ng face ko. My face hates salicylic acid. As in, parati ako mas na-aggravate pa yung pimple ko. Nagkakaroon ako ng weird allergic reaction whenever nagtatry ako ng anything na may salicylic acid. So even though I should be using BHA so as not to aggravate my already oily face, wala akong choice. I should use AHA kaysa saan magkaroon ako ng allergic reaction. Now, ang problem lang dito since, again, water-soluble nga, ang AHA, mas nagiging oily yung face ko. But, well, it's a small price to pay against fading my acne marks. The next product is this one, and this one is from Some By Me, and it is the AHA, BHA, BHA 30 Days Miracle Toner. Now, this one, I really like the formula. Again, meron nga akong apprehension with using BHA because it irritates my skin. But with this one, even though it has BHA, it does not really affect my skin too much. I cannot say na within 30 days, mafe fade na ang acne scars, acne marks. Yon, hindi pa rin. But this does help with exfoliation. Last one is not actually a toner, but instead it is a mask. So masking rin pala helps. Kasi parang nagiging chemical slash physical exfoliant na siya kasi you leave it on your skin and then kapag nilids mo, pwede mo na rin i-exfoliate na annually yung face mo. And this one is from Althea and it is the Milk Peel Cream Mask. It has AHA, BHA, triplex exfoliating creamy milk bubbles. Nakakatuwa siyang gamitan kasi actually cream siya but when you put it on your face, nagiging bubble siya na sobrang ang, ang sarap niyang paglaruan. <laughs> Yun lang pala eh, no? But again, this one is really effective. Once you rinse it off, you can really see that the layer of your skin was properly exfoliated. Next step mo is to use an active ingredient. Now, you can use active ingredients via serums or essences. Marami actually active ingredient, pero magdi-discuss lang ako ng mga three products that I used and syempre na experience ko na and I will share my insights regarding the one that I think is most effective. Also, mag-pay attention kayo dun sa mga pwedeng ipag-mix na skincare products kasi more often than not, some chemical exfoliants do not go well with active ingredients. I discuss ko rin naman yun, pero ayun nga, sinasabi ko lang, take note. Kasi kapag minsan pinagsabay mo sila, mas makakakos pa ng irritation. First one, ito yung sikat na sikat. And it is vitamin C. Makikita nyo yan dun sa serum nyo or essence nyo nakalagay na L-ascorbic acid or ascorbic acid, citric acid, or vitamin C derivative. No, kaya siya sikat na sikat because it is really effective in fading those acne marks. It does not only exfoliate, but it also reduces the production of melanin. Yung melanin na yan, ayan yung nakakakos ng dark spots sa face mo. So, pinipigilan niya ng vitamin C. At the same time, nakaka-brighten din and nakaka-even ang skin tone ng vitamin C. So, vitamin C was actually my first pick when it comes to using an active ingredient. But with sa experience ko nga, three years ng experience ko, I can say that vitamin C is somehow finicky. Ang downside ng vitamin C is that it cannot be used on all skin types. Hindi mo malalaman kung ano ang effect ng vitamin C sa skin mo unless you use it. My case, when I use the vitamin C from its skin incorporated, gumawa ako ng video nun dati, I would leave a link below. It was really nice because it was just a vitamin C derivative. So, hindi masyado pure yung vitamin C niya. However, nung nag-switch ako to another vitamin C serum na mas potent compared to a vitamin C derivative, yun naman yung C20 vitamin C serum. 
hindi na kinaya ng face ko. I was doing something wrong. Ayun nga, may minimix ako na mali. And even though I used it alone, hindi pa rin kaya. Talagang nai-irritate yung skin ko. So what I can say is that if you really think that vitamin C will work for you, use it as your active ingredient. But do take note that you should not mix it with any chemical exfoliant. So ano yung ibig sabihin lang? Ibig sabihin kapag kagamit ka ng AHA or BHA on a specific day, do not use vitamin C. Sa susunod na araw mo na gamitin yung vitamin C, pero huwag mo siyang samahan ng AHA, BHA, or any acne treatments. Ibig sabihin, maghihilapos ka lang, hindi ka magtotoner, you just put on your active ingredient, which is vitamin C, and then that's it. Doing so will minimize the risk na ma-irritate yung face mo kasi again, vitamin C, loner siya, ayaw niya ng masyadong maraming kinakalo sa kanya. There are some, but I haven't tried other things na ihalo sa kanya because again, it irritated my skin. I just use it alone. The next one is vitamin B3 or it is most commonly known as niacinamide. Now, dun sa tatlo na sasabihin ko na active ingredient that I use, ito yung pinaka-suggested ko. Why? Because it works with a lot of skin types and at the same time, it can go well with other active ingredients. But, Again, kahit ganon, huwag mong ihalo ang niacinamide with vitamin C. Kapag may vitamin C, parating mag-isa lang siya. So, what is so good about niacinamide is that it has a lot of benefits. Kasama na dyan yung um, pagtatanggal ng fine lines mo, wrinkles, and even skin tone. It can also reduce the production of oil. It strengthens the skin's barrier. And most importantly, yung ating concern is fading niya, is that it also reduces the transfer of pigment molecules. So, yung mga may itim mo, hindi na siya masyadong iitim. Instead, mababrighten up niya yun. I have one recommendation and this is it. It is from Pacific, Natural Pacific. This one is the Phytoniacin Whitening Essence. Marami pang kasama to, but actually, its main ingredient is niacinamide. And nakikita nyo ang konti pa lang ng nagagamit ko. Pero actually, I've been using it for a long time. A little Little goes a long way and sobrang gentle niya mag-work and very dramatic din ang kanyang effect on my acne marks. Last but not the least is actually an oil. And papakita ko nga sana or na pakita ko yata sa inyo yun in a haul, beauty M&L haul. But anyway, it is a tamanu oil. So tamanu oil contains a lot of acids and it is used by people who have a lot of skin problems. Yung mga eczema, mga ganyan, mga allergies. It is also an antioxidant so makaka-add pa siya sa health ng skin mo to strengthen that skin barrier. And it has antibacterial and antifungal properties so makaka-help din siya sa acne. Now, the problem lang with tamanu oil is that it doesn't smell good. Talagang nakakainis siyang ilagay sa face mo kasi ang bako-bako ka. Also, when I use tamanu oil, tapos nalagyan ko yung mga parts na wala namang dark spots, it has a tendency to clog pores which can also lead to more acne. I decided to give it up kasi nakaka-clog siya ng pores ko and ayoko nang magpaulit-ulit yung acne ko. But I guess sa mga people who have dry skin, normal skin, combination skin, you can get away with tamanu oil. Not so much oily people skin like me kasi ayun niya, nakaka-clog siya. Baka mag-add lang siya to your present. So now let us talk about moisturizers. Yes, you have to put on moisturizer even though you have oily skin. Yes. Lalo mo pang kailangan ng moisturizer kapag gumagamit ka ng chemical exfoliant and active ingredients. What is happening kasi is medyo nagpapanik na yung barrier of the skin because you are putting in strong products. So parang iniisip niya, ano yung nangyayari? May war ba? Or whatever. So usually, ang effect niya is, alam mo yun, yung medyo stingy yung face nyo, medyo sensitive siya sa sun. So using a moisturizer on top of those products can help Calm and soothe your skin. However, ito yung pinakamalaking however. Just like the cleanser, kailangan yung moisturizer nyo is as basic as it can get. 
be sure na ang purpose lang ng moisturizer mo is to give moisture to your face, lock in moisture to your face, or somehow calm your face so as not it is not dry or too oily. I have three suggestions here. The first one is this one. This one came from Song By Me and it is H7 Hydromax Cream. This one has hyaluronic acid and it offers deep hydration of the skin. Kapag ito ginamit ko, sure na sure na fresh and moisturized ang face ko. Another product that I recommend is not actually a moisturizer. Instead, it is a primer water and this one is from Althea and it is their primer water. I do not use cotton with this. Hands na lang yung nilal ginagamit ko nilalagay. Hands na lang yung ginagamit ko tapos itap ko lang siya sa face ko. And ito, malakas maka-calm ng pagka-irritate ng skin mo from using chemical exfoliation. And last one, hindi ko actually masyado na recommend because just like what I said, kailangan as basic as it can get yung moisturizer na gagamitin mo. But still, this one is good and ginagamit ko siya kapag kailangan ko ng boost sa um, skin ko kasi sobrang dry na or flaky or whatever. And this one is from Skin Food. This is the Premium Tomato Whitening Emulsion and it has 20% tomato extract. So, kaya ko siya hindi masyado nire-recommend kasi hindi siya basic. <laughs> Medyo may whitening property. But of course, bakit ka ba nagkaroon ng acne marks, acne scars, and hyperpigmentation? Hindi ko na sabi yung pigmentation. <laughs> pigmentation! It is because you have acne. So in my case, medyo minalas ako because I have oily and acne prone skin. So consistent yung acne skincare routine ko. So just like what I said earlier, hindi mo actually pwede pagsabayan yung acne skincare products mo tsaka yung mga pang fade ng acne marks mo kasi mag away away sila. Pero I cannot stress the importance of sticking with your acne skincare products kasi kapag in-stop mo yan tapos bigla kang nag-break out, tapos nag heal na naman, papatong lang ng papatong yung acne scars, acne marks, and hyperpigmentation mo. Uulit lang ng uulit yung acne mo. Hindi ka na matatapos. Hindi ka na magkakaroon ng regular looking skin. So, in my case, ginawan ko na to ng video. I would leave a link below. Talagang ang trusted anti-acne skincare routine ko is from Proactive. So, I'm just going to talk about two products that really make a difference. The first one is this. Ito yung third step niya. This one is the Proactive Repairing Treatment and this has benzoyl peroxide. The other one is also from Proactive but it is a mask pero ginagawa ko siyang spot treatment. And this one is the Skin Purifying Mask. Ang active ingredient na naman is so Last but definitely not the least and actually ito ang nakalimutan kong gawin kaya medyo nagtagal yung pag-fade ng acne scars, acne marks, and hyperpigmentation ko. And it is sunscreen. Guys, if you are using AHA, BHA, and any type of active ingredient, may it be vitamin C, niacinamide, and type of oil, do not forget to wear Sunscreen. Just like what I said earlier, kapag pinag-combine mo kasi yung chemical exfoliant at active ingredient, nagpapanik yung barrier ng skin mo. So, when you expose it under the sun, medyo hindi niya kaya talaga without the help of sunscreen. And also, what happened to me, I have, <laughs> iwan ko yung link sa baba, I burned my skin. Also, nakaka-help din yung sunscreen para hindi na mas lalong mag-darken yung already dark spots nyo. Kasi kapag na expose yan sa sun, masyadong mahihasen yung process ng melanin production. So, sa buong buhay ko, dalawa lang ang sunscreen na hindi nakakapag-breakout sa akin. The first one is this, and this one is from Cetaphil, and it is the Suntivity SPF 50+, Plus, and this one was made for oily skin. So, ito medyo white to eh, and may white cast siya, pero it goes away in time, so it can be worn under makeup. And the other Another one which I actually highly recommend compared to this is this one. This one is from Althea and this is the Petal Velvet Sunaway. This one has SPF 50 plus and PA 
plus 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 I discussed in a previous video how this changed my life I would put a link below and ito kasi I like the formula because it comes out liquid but it dries down into a powdery finish so parang best shot to be worn under makeup so those are all the skincare steps that I did to fade my acne scars, acne marks, and hyperpigmentation. Again, when it comes to acne scars, medyo mahirap talaga kasi siya kasi it needs parang kailangan ng maraming collagen sa skin mo para yung ganyan maging ganyan ulit. But again, it just takes time. And if all else fails, meron namang mga facial procedures na makakahelp with the acne scarring. Kasi acne scarring talaga mahirap siya. Hindi lang siya yung kailangang i-fade eh. Mafe-fade mo siya, pero hindi mo na mababalik yung surface ng skin mo na nauka na. Ang kailangan mo lang talaga is time and to nourish your skin and to protect the barrier of your skin. In my case, hindi naman ako nag-go through facial procedures although mas makakabilis actually kapag ganun yung mga meron silang peeling tapos meron pa silang laser which can help with scaring but for me, I just stuck with products that I know works well tapos in time nabalik din yung mga na walang mga oka-oka here. Meron pa actually na titira, pero sobrang konti na lang. And again, patience, patience, patience. So that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and all that shit so you don't miss any of this. This is Tish and I'll just see you on my next video. Bye!